Hey, we've got an exciting large group activity that you can do with partners th that is great for working together and also explores communication. And we call it ESP. Although I'm pretending I know what this activity is, I don't know this activity. So Mark is going to just teach it to me live right now as in, we go. In the dark. So to begin, just find some fun and maybe random way of inviting your large group into pairs. It's a really great way to start with any large group ex exercise because it's really, be really hard to be left out of a pair. And once they are there, maybe take the opportunity to share something. But if nothing else, now that you've got your partner, I will invite the whole group to recreate these three, let's call them settings. The first one is, just show me physically what happy looks like, Chad. Oh yeah, but we're actually going to add some <laughs> physicality. So it's like that person on one of those major manufacturing of cars ads where they jump up and they give a sound. So it's like, woohoo, for example. Sorry, Mr. Mike up there. <laughs> <laughs> so that's happy. So when we say happy, that's what someone looks like. The other, the flip side is sad. What does sad look like, Chad? Sad Chad. Oh, sad Chad. So sound gonna, effects? Yeah, you could definitely do uh, sound okay. effects. So we're going to look like this and you know, like, oh, and you might like kick the dirt. You, know, you can do the full body experience. So we've now got happy and sad. Hmm. And let's just go one more. Again, I'm just making these up. You can do all sorts of variations, but you need three settings. And the third one for us right now is that you're tired. What does tired look like? Oh, stretching out the arms, you do a big yawn, it's a little slower perhaps. Okay, quick recap with the whole group. They're still standing with their partners and you work through those three. Happy, sad, tired, happy, tired. Yeah, no, I could keep on going. <laughs> Next, you've got that, everyone's under control. Remember, they're still in their partnership, so no one's really feeling uncomfortable, which is really important about any of these sorts of exercises where you're looking for people to connect. Next step, stand back to back. For the back to back, and be sure that you tell everybody, if you haven't already demonstrated this, that you're gonna count to three. It's the standard variation, one, two, three. But on three, everyone, they themselves and their partner are going to turn around really quickly while they are doing one of those three settings, those three, in this case, emotions. So just to repeat, when I say go, so that works pretty well to start a game, everyone's going to turn around as they're doing randomly by ESP have decided which one of those three they're going to do. Uh -huh. Now, if they happen to match, which is your goal, you can get pretty excited and you might high five it out. And if you don't, don't worry, there's always another round. So, Chad, are you ready? I am ready. All right, on the count of three, we're both going to turn around doing one of those three things. Are you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, okay. Didn't actually get a match on that occasion. So at this point in the video, you might be thinking, oh, this is perfect, exactly what I came for. You also might be thinking, I don't know if this is going to work with my group. Mm -hmm. um, and so a couple variations. We just did happy, sad, etc. We're fairly extroverted characters. <laughs> I chose animated things. If you know you're, you want to ease your group into this a little bit, you could invite them to do a, a thumbs up, mm -hmm. a thumbs down, a cross one, arm. a two, yep. a three, a cross arms, th like uh, actions that are more reserved, yeah. that you get the same psychological woof from getting a match, but without the uh, acting or theater mm. part of doing that whole exercise. And so um, choose, like any activity that you find on our channels, plural, mm. check them out below. Create an adaptation that will work for you. You know your groups better than we do. So we are looking to inspire you to then introduce this to your groups. Quick second round. Okay, on the count of three. You don't have to stick to the same one. You could do something a little bit different. One, two, three. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, I might have been tired, <laughs> but not quite sad. You get the idea. All right, so you've set it up. I guarantee you, you will have raised a lot of energy, which you can never have too much of in your group. And you set you set up. So then you do five rounds. Do five rounds and importantly, you ask each partnership to remember how many out of five rounds they matched. Now on average, it's kind of like two or maybe three out of five, which is pretty average. Remember, unless you're sending ESP signals to your partner, <laughs> they're not going to know what you're going to be doing. What does ESP stand for again? Extrasensory perception. Oh, got it. In this case, anyway. So that's the context. So let's do one more round. Are you ready, Chad? 
Ready. Okay, all right. Remember, you're going to do something, and I'm going to be doing something at the same time as we turn around. One, two, three. <gasps> ah, hey. Hey. Feels good. <laughs> you can feel good by giving them a quick high five or whatever works for you to have a little celebration. Remembering, you're looking for five rounds. This is your challenge for the group. You want to do it five times and ask each partnership to remember how many out of five they actually got a match. Maybe it's two or three out of five, which is kind of average. Sometimes it can be five. Sometimes it's zero. I'm learning this activity for the first time, and I am uh, queuing into why this is going to work with a group psychologically. Because in full transparency, that moment where we just matched up, we didn't get on the first two rounds when we were filming. <laughs> and as we continued to film the video, I was like, wait a second, we have to actually like my brain didn't want to continue filming the video until we found a match. And mm. so there's going to be this like unknown, unconscious psychological drive to match up. And yeah. which is when you do it with an entire group, I imagine, Ooh. is like, wow. Oh, so you oh, have these absolutely. bursts of energy over here yeah. and then over here and yep. over here. And it's like popcorn. It happens in different places at different times. So not everyone is celebrating. Yep. Maybe half the group is celebrating at any point in time. Yeah. Mm. Brilliant. So this is what happens next, is that you could, from here, just move on to the next activity. Maybe your whole purpose was to simply find a warm-up or an energizer for that purpose, just to simply build up the energy. And you could do some more. For example, at the very end, I might ask my very big group, okay, how many of you actually got five out of five correct? Mm. A bunch of hands go up. Four, three out of five, two out of five, one out of five, Zero out of five. <laughs> There's always a few people who are willing to say yes. Or, <laughs> and then I, you know, I, I, I say, okay, I'm not a mathematician, but can we all agree, and I work out some average, I might say uh, maybe two and a half to three was the average for the group. Keep listening, because this is the most important part. I then say, okay, if we can all agree that's what we got best out of five, what would we need to do to go to four or five out of five? And I guarantee you, always, 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 there is someone who will say, oh, you've got to cheat. Or you just talk to your partner over your shoulder. <laughs> yes. And here's, here's where it's really baked into the value of the activity. It's like, yes. Here we go in the world where sometimes we operate as if, why can't you read my mind? <laughs> any wonder we meet resistance, any wonder we don't perform at a high level. So it's like, yes, imagine if I actually told Chad between each of my rounds, it's not the game yeah. that we played, that was just for fun, but in the real world, communication works. It works to help us keep us on the same page. It's a cheat it's, code that's allowed. Exactly. It's like, yeah, yeah, go for it. <laughs> well, but in schools, you know, no disrespect to the school systems or to any teacher, but in schools, you know, often sharing like that was considered cheating, which is why ah. it's one of the first answers that come out. But in the real world, it's called what's expected. <laughs> And note that I've just used a fun game to open up that conversation, to communicate, to make that more effective, more performance. And if you want a whole bunch of much more clever facilitator tips, want to see a video with actually happening with a group and a whole bunch of other resources, you should go to this guy's website. Mm. <laughs> Look for all those details for all the free stuff below. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chad Littlefield, founder of. And I'm Mark Collard, founder of. Have an awesome day. Have an awesome day. <laughs> <laughs>